Automating your workflows with NADN is extremely powerful, but when you add MCP into the mix, that adds a whole new level of control. But almost nobody's showing you guys how easy it actually is, which is why in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about MCP in less than five minutes. So what is MCP? Well, MCP is a communication protocol made last year by Claude that's been revolutionizing the AI space. So what does this have to do with NADEN? Well, this allows you as a user to create bundles of tools to connect to your AI agents in a way that wasn't possible before. It allows you to organize your tools in a way that's easier to connect between your workflows. So how does all this work? Well, on one hand, you have your AI agent, and on the other hand, you have a server with a bunch of tools. Now, these tools could be scraping websites or checking availability of calendars. It doesn't really matter. All you're doing is you're streamlining the communication between the two. Now, the AI could be any AI that you can think of. A lot of AIs have support for this. OpenAI does now. Cloud A and ChatGPT have support for this, and it's becoming widespread rather quickly. And on the other hand, you have an MCP server, which could be kind of any server. You can self-host it, you can find services on the internet, or you can build it all directly inside of NADEN, which is what I'm going to show you today because that is the easiest way to understand how MCP works. So let's jump into an empty workflow and let's go ahead and type in AI agent and just drop that in there right now. Now, for this example, we're going to be using ChatGPT. You can use whatever one you want, doesn't really matter. Beautiful. And previously what we would do to add tools is we click the plus button and we start selecting the tools we want. I'm gonna add Wikipedia just for an example because it's really easy to show you guys how things work with Wikipedia. So previously we would just say something like, use Wikipedia to tell me the capital of France. And you can see it used the Wikipedia tool. And if we zoom out a little bit, it did use the Wikipedia tool. So that's the way it worked previously, right? Well, now we have the MCP server. So if you go back here, we're going to delete Wikipedia for now. And you click on the MCP client tool. Now we can actually connect this to another workflow that has a bundle of tools ready for this AI. Now this is really good if you want to start organizing them like, oh, all of these tools are related to calendar and email. All of these tools are related to SMS. All of these tools are related to social media, right? All these tools are related to scraping. So you can start making little bundles of tools and you don't have to remake or copy and paste anything. All you have to do is put the link. Let me show you how that works. So down here, we can actually add it in the same workflow. Of course, you can do this in a different workflow too. A trigger. So click add another trigger and we're gonna type in MCP. We're looking for an MCP server trigger. And so that gives us this node down here. Now, if we go to configure this, we can set our own URL. So I'm gonna call this YouTube test, okay? And we're going to want to use the production URL for now. Remember, this is active. The production URL will only work if this is active. If this is inactive, then I have to click test workflow and use the test URL for this to work. So let's copy the production URL. Let's go down here to the MCP client and let's just paste that in. Good, now you can see that there's no errors anymore. And then now let's, under tools, let's click plus. And if, as you can see, it has the same list of tools that the AI agent had previously. So we can type in Wikipedia right here and it's right there good to go so now we can open the chat again and say use wikipedia to tell me the capital of france of course we have to save the workflow first and we can see it did something with the mcp client but we don't actually know what it did so if we go here and we click on mcp client we can say okay there's an input we're using the wikipedia api and we got a response of a page which is really interesting but if we go over to executions we can see a little bit more we can actually see that it executed the MCP server trigger. So this is the basics of how MCP actually works. All we have here is one tool right here on the AI agent, and we can connect many tools right here on the MCP 
server trigger. Now, of course, if you're going to make custom tools like an HTTP request tool, I recommend that you give it a really, really good description. The better description that you give it, the better it's going to be. And make sure that you give it a really good name because whenever you're prompting, AI agent needs to know what the name of the tool is and what the tool does in order to effectively communicate with it. If you name your tools incorrectly or if you don't give it a good description, the AI agent might get confused when to use which tool. And so you'll see that a lot when you're scheduling or checking availability or even some things with emails. The AI gets a little bit confused about when to do what. So prompting can really help that. Another thing I recommend you guys do is I recommend that you rename your MCP trigger nodes to be the bundle of tools that you're using. So like this could be the scheduling bundle. And this just checks availability, creates events in calendar, sends events to other people, things like that. And so down here we can just connect all the tools related to scheduling. And then whenever I have an AI agent where I need to use that, I can just drop in the link of scheduling, for example, and it'll work really well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like some more help with N8N, I am hosting a free community to help you guys out. There we have challenges to earn some real cash money. I also answer any question that gets posted in the group. So if that's something you're interested in, please check out the link down below and you guys have a wonderful day.